Hey sis, it's been a while, hasn't it? How are you doing since the last time we met? Shut up and don't ever contact me again. Whoa, hold on a minute. Aren't you being a little too mean towards me? I'm your little sister. Of course I'm going to be mean to you. Do you not remember what I told you when we last met? I thought I told you to never contact me again. I also told you that we're cutting all ties between us. Well, I guess you're still angry about what happened. It was a long time ago. So I thought that you would have forgotten it by now. All I did was steal your fiance from you. I apologize to you so many times that I've lost count already. Isn't it about time that you forgave me now? If you want, I'll apologize to you again. Well, I didn't feel like I was getting apologized to at all. I think that you were just saying it and didn't really mean it. I don't plan on ever forgiving you for stealing Wade from me. Wait, don't be like that. We're siblings after all. We should try to take care of each other. You're really overreacting about such a small thing. It wasn't my fault either. What did you just say? I said that I don't really feel bad about what happened. All that happened was the two people who really loved one another managed to get together. The person that I loved just happened to be the person that you were engaged to. It was just an unfortunate coincidence. Are you really serious? Do you not understand what you did to me? Just calm down already. I contacted you today because I had some great news. Now I'm not sure if I want to tell you. I doubt that it's anything that I would want to hear anyway. Actually, I think that it would make you pretty happy. It's something that's really, really important. Wade and I finally decided on a date for our wedding. I'm so excited to plan it all out. No way. You guys are actually going to get married to each other? Of course we are. We love each other so much. I think that I really found the person that I'm destined for this time. Everything is going so smoothly. Once we finish our wedding, we're going to start designing our own house that we can live in. Okay, cool. Congratulations for everything and good luck. Well, I'm glad that things are going smoothly in return for completely messing up my life. What's wrong with you, sis? Why are you acting like you have no emotion? Stop being so cold to me. I'm actually kind of getting annoyed by how you're talking to me. Then stop talking to me. You really should try to clear your mind. It's not good to get so angry about getting your fiance stolen from you. It happens all the time. Also, you and Wade didn't really make a good couple anyway. You guys just weren't a good match. He's also way too attractive for someone like you. Someone else would have stolen him even if I didn't do it. It was a little unlucky that it just happened to be me. That's not something to get so angry about. You would have lost him at some point anyway. You think we weren't a good match? What do you mean by that? Well, he's the manager of a department at a huge sales company. He keeps on getting promotions and it's been rumored that he might even become the CEO one day. On the other hand, you're just a boring secretary at some tiny company that I don't even know the name of. Do you get what I'm saying? He deserves someone that's equal to him. Well, let me ask you something then. Do you really think that you are even a match with him? Yeah, of course I am. I graduated from UCLA and I'm living a great life that most people would be totally jealous of. You should really check out my Instagram. I wear nice clothes every day and have so many friends that I go out with. There are always guys that try to flirt with me. I think that we match each other perfectly. Uh-huh. Are we done yet? I don't think we're going to see eye to eye on anything. I really have nothing else that I want to say to you. Would you please keep our promise this time and not contact me again? Stop trying to act so tough like that. I know that deep down you're happy I'm talking to you. I'll invite you to the wedding, so make sure that you come, okay? You have to see me in my wedding dress. I'm going to look so beautiful. 
Make sure you don't cry when you see me. I really don't care about your wedding and I definitely am not going to attend. Go have your wedding as soon as you please, but don't get me involved. Don't bother sending me an invite, by the way. I officially decline your invitation. Save the trees. If you do, I'll burn it without even opening it. Hey, and sorry for contacting you out of nowhere. Do I have the correct number? I'm hoping that I'm talking to Amy's sister. My name is Natalie and I'm one of her friends. Yeah, you have the right number. My name is Maggie. Nice to meet you. How did you get my contact number? Is there something that you need to ask me? I'm sorry I texted you out of nowhere. I got your number from one of my friends. There was just something that I really wanted to ask you. What is it? Well, I heard that Amy was going to get married and I wanted to know if it was true. A lot happened between us in the past and I'm not really in the position to ask her directly about it. I have no idea what happened between you guys, but yeah, she's going to get married soon. She told me that she's decided on the date of the wedding as well. Oh, really? Wait, so she's really going to get married? Are you 100% sure about this? You're not lying to me, right? Yeah, I'm sure. Why would I be lying to you? She decided on the date of the wedding and seems to be really happy about it. Okay, thanks so much for letting me know. I guess everything is going to be okay now. Thanks again. You just made my day. Well, I'm a little confused as to who you are and why you're so happy. Well, would it be okay if I asked what happened between you guys in the past? It doesn't really sound like you're happy for her. It seems like you're happy about something else. Well, it's kind of difficult to talk about. I actually had a boyfriend stolen from me by her in the past. Wait, really? Yeah. He wanted to become a doctor and went to grad school to study medicine. Unfortunately, she heard about it and decided to take him from me. Wow, I really can't believe her. She lied to him that I was seeing other guys and made us have a huge argument. I ended up breaking up with him and soon after that, they started dating each other. I'm sorry that happened to you. But after he failed one of his exams to become a doctor, she broke up with him and left him. I met him by coincidence a little while after and ended up getting back together with him. We talked things out and figured out the reason why we broke up was because the lie that she told him. He recently completed his degree to become a doctor and is currently working at the local hospital. The only problem was that I heard that she had heard about him becoming a doctor and was afraid she would try to take him from me again. I see. I understand what's going on now. I totally get why you wanted to know about her wedding. I'm glad that you understand. I went through a really tough time when she stole him from me last time. And I didn't want to go through that pain again. I heard that she was going to get married through some rumors and wanted to double check if it was true. I wasn't sure who else to ask and that's why I ended up contacting you. Thanks for telling me what happened between you guys. I guess that you're another one of her victims. I'm so sorry that my idiot sister caused you so much trouble. Did you just say another one? Has she done the same thing to other people as well? Yeah, she has. The person that she's getting married to is actually my ex-fiance. Just like you, I had my partner stolen by her. I'm sorry to hear that. I can't believe that she did it to you as well. I have mixed emotions about the marriage, but I hope that she calms down when she gets married. I'm sure that once she gets married, she's not going to cause you any more trouble. Don't worry about her anymore, and I hope that you guys have a happy life together. Yeah, I hope that she leaves us alone now. Thank you so much for the kind words. We're actually going to get married by the end of this month. I'm so glad that I don't have to worry about her anymore as it was making me really anxious. Oh, you guys are getting married? That's great to hear. Congratulations. 
Thank you so much for being so kind. I'm glad we talked. I'd better get going. Take care and thank you for everything. All right, take care. All the best. Hey sis, I have some good news that I want to tell you. Do you have some time right now? What do you want from me this time? I thought that I told you to never contact me again. Don't be like that. You're my sister. Of course I'm going to contact you from time to time. It's some really good news about Wade, actually. You want to know what it is, right? What is it? I decided that I'm going to be kind and give him back to you. So you can get back together with him and get married to him this time if you still want to. What did you just say? What made you change your mind all of a sudden? Well, a bunch of things happened and now I have to get back together with my ex-boyfriend. Wait, what? Why do you have to get back together with your ex? Well, I heard that he became a doctor. So that's why I have to get back together with him. I've always wanted to get married to someone that makes a lot of money and a doctor is very high up on the list. Anyway, I don't need weight anymore. So you can have him back. You must be so happy that this is happening. No, I'm not happy at all. And I can't believe that you're doing this. How selfish can you be? Besides, I don't want him back at all. Do you really think that I would still have feelings for him? You don't need to lie about that. I know that you still like him. Deep down, you must be so glad that you get another shot with Wade. This is probably going to be your last opportunity to get back together with him. Better not waste it. What are you talking about? I have no intention of getting back together with him. What happened anyway? I thought you two were destined for each other. You told me that I was no match for someone like him. If you match up to him so much better than I do, then why don't you just get married to him? Oh, uh, that was all just a joke. I didn't really mean it. I actually think that you two make such a great couple. I'm sure that you guys would become a really nice family too. Anyway, I'm going to leave him so you're probably the only person that would want to marry him. What did you just say? I'm just saying that I will allow you to marry him. Actually, I'd rather you stop playing games and get back together with him. Really, please take him back so I don't have to deal with him anymore. I need to hurry up and go flirt with my ex so that I can win him back. He was the person that was destined to be with me. Stop saying such stupid things. Your ex already has someone he's going to get married to. He's getting married to Natalie. I think their wedding is happening today, actually. Huh? Wait, are you sure about this? They're getting married right now? Yeah, they are. Unfortunately for you, it's way too late to try to win him back. He's already going to be married by the time you get to see him next. Hold on a minute. There's no way that's true, right? Why would those two be getting married? Besides, why do you even know about her, sis? I never introduced you to her before. I actually received a text message from her last month. She wanted to check with me to see if you were really getting married. She had her wedding coming up and was worried about you trying to steal him from her again. And that's why she contacted me. Are you kidding me? She's sneaking around calling my family behind my back? I heard about everything that you did from her. You're such a lowlife. You tricked them into breaking up and then you swooped in and started dating him as soon as they broke up. Then you dumped him pretty much straight after. Now that you heard that he's become a doctor, you suddenly want to get back together with him? I can't believe that those two got back together. Now they're getting married as well? I really can't let this happen. Why would they need your permission to get married? Your friend's going to get married so you should be happy for her. Maybe they're meant to be together since they decided to get married even after you broke them up once. They still ended up together, despite your sabotage. But this isn't fair to me at all. I wanted to get married to a doctor as well. Why are you making such a big deal out of this? Are you not happy enough with what you have already? Wade works a great job at a famous sales company, right? I thought that he was going to become the future CEO or something. Surely he's good enough for a girl like you. You're happy as long as your Instagram looks appealing, right? What are you talking about? Of course I'm not happy with him. There's so many things that I want him to fix. Oh really? Why is that? Stop acting like you don't know. You were the one that was about to marry him. 
I'm sure you know all of his faults as well as I do. What are you talking about? I didn't know that he was sleeping around with other women. I thought that it was just me. On top of that, he has no money in his bank account. Why would I want to get married to someone like that? Wait, he's sleeping around with other women now? Also, did you say he doesn't have any savings? I didn't know about either of that. We're planning to have our wedding this weekend. He told me yesterday that there were some things that he needed to confess before he got married. He confessed to me that he currently doesn't have any savings and that he's cheating on me with five other women right now. Whoa, that many? Also, what in the world happened to his savings? I'm so surprised by that. I thought that the only person that he loved was me. I was so shocked when he told me all this yesterday. The women he's sleeping with aren't just one night stands either. He says he sees them all a couple times a month. Also, he told me that he has no intention of ending the relationship that he has with all of them. Can you believe it? We're meant to be getting married in a few days time. The only reason that he decided to marry me was because I was the youngest one of them all. He says that he loves them all and loves me equally. So he can't just choose one person to have a relationship with. That's kind of crazy. He's currently dating six people, including me. And that's why he doesn't have any savings left. He uses up all his salary that he earns on the dates that he has. I checked the remaining balance in his bank account and it really did say zero. That's unbelievable. I really didn't think that he was that kind of person. At least when I was dating him, he seemed normal. It's terrible, right? I can't believe he did this to me. I asked him to be faithful to me, but he said that he doesn't really want to change the way he lives for my sake. He told me that I should be happy that he chose me as his wife. That was the end of our conversation. I don't know what to do now. You actually knew all about this, didn't you? Of course not. I wouldn't have gone out with him if I knew about that. I didn't notice him cheating on me and I didn't know about his savings either. Well, I'm so glad that I didn't end up getting married to him then. I'm so relieved right now. What is wrong with you? I don't want to get married to him either, but I don't have a choice now. You guys haven't got him married yet, so why don't you just break up with him? I don't think it's too late yet. I told you that I want to break up with him, but I don't have a choice now. After I told him that I wanted to break up with him, he said I'd have to pay the wedding cancellation fees if I wanted to leave. The wedding is happening pretty soon, and we have to pay almost the entire fee of the wedding if we want to cancel it. The bill is almost $40,000. That much? Then he said that if I can't pay the cancellation fees, that I'd have to just get married to him. He told me not to embarrass him anymore and left. I had no idea he would do something like this. Anyway, that's where I need you to take my place at the wedding and get married to him. Then I wouldn't have to pay any cancellation fees, right? Of course I'm not going to do that, you idiot. Don't get me involved in the mess that you got yourself into. I can't believe you'd even ask me. What? You're just going to abandon me? This is all your fault, you know. You were the one that took him from me in the first place. You said that he didn't deserve to have someone like me by his side. You also said that you were a perfect match for him. You can deal with this yourself, seeing as you were the one that created the mess. Hello, Natalie. Congratulations for getting married. My younger sister Amy got married to my ex-fiance this past weekend as well. I thought that I would just let you know what happened in case you were curious. Thank you so much for letting me know. So she actually had her wedding then. I'm a little surprised. Now that she's married and has her own family, I think that I can finally relax. Yeah, I guess you should be fine now. I'm pretty sure that she's way too busy dealing with other matters right now. I don't think she's going to cause you guys any more trouble. Currently, she is busy running away from her husband and probably has no time to think of you or your husband. Wait, why does she have to run away? Well, the guy that she got married to was actually cheating on her with five other women. He spent all his savings on his girlfriends and doesn't have any money left at all. Their married life is the complete opposite of what she thought it would be like. Wow, that's so crazy. Wasn't the person that she got married to the person that used to be your fiance? Was he always that kind of person? I guess so, but I only found out about it recently. I'm actually really glad that she decided to steal him from me. Otherwise, 
I might have been the one that had to get married to that monster. Well, I'm really happy for you. You really dodged a bullet there. I can't imagine how terrible it would be to be married to a guy like that. I know, right? Anyway, I really think there is no need for you to worry about her anymore. I'll make sure to contact you if she tries to get up to something. You just got married, so focus on enjoying your new life together with your husband. Yes, I will do that. Thank you so much for everything. Hey sis, please, I'm begging you to help me out. I'll give him back to you. I really don't want to be with Wade anymore. How many times do I have to tell you this? You made your decision. I don't want anything to do with Wade either. Don't try to return him to me because you changed your mind. That's not how it works. What am I supposed to do? Why do I have to go through this? It's not fair. Why are you asking me? This was the result of your actions. I've also been getting messages from other women that he's seeing. They keep threatening me and saying that I shouldn't get ahead of myself just because I was the one that got married to him. I'm scared they might try to do something to me. He also told me that I'm going to have to pay all the living expenses from now on because he uses up all his salary on the other woman. This is not the married life that I signed up for. In fact, it's the complete opposite. Well, your married life sounds so miserable just listening to it. I'm so glad that I'm not the one in your position. I also contacted mom and dad for help, but they didn't help at all. They told me that I should be happy that they even allowed me to get married to him after I stole him from you. They told me to clean up my own mess for a change. Can you believe it? Don't you think that's so mean? They should love and support me. I'm their child after all. No, I think that they dealt with you correctly. Mom and dad are such great people. I have no idea how you managed to grow up like you did. I'm going to cry. Everybody thinks I deserve this. I contacted my friends for help too, but none of them want anything to do with me. Apparently, Natalie's been telling everyone about my marriage and my past. Now no one wants to talk to me anymore. I even had someone tell me to my face that I got what was coming to me and that she hopes I'd learned the lesson. I didn't know Natalie was doing that for me. I should send her a message and thank her. We kind of bonded over you stealing the guys we were with. I hope that she continues to share the story of what happened to more people. You're the only person that I have left that I can depend on. Although he doesn't have any savings and he cheats on me. He's actually a pretty good person. I think that he's the perfect person for you. Would you please get back together with him? I'm begging you. Why do you think that he's the perfect person for me? I actually think that he's the perfect person for you. Especially after finding out what kind of person he really is. Wait, what do you mean by that? You're the kind of person that betrays your friends and family. He's the kind of person that betrays his wife and girlfriends. I think that you guys are perfect match for each other. That's not true at all. I really do regret what happened and I want to apologize to you about it all. So please, would you help me out so that I can get divorced? No matter how many times I ask him, he won't sign the divorce papers. That must mean that he loves you that much. You said yourself he's a pretty good guy. Maybe he is your perfect match. I'm so jealous that you managed to marry a guy that is never going to let you go. That's so romantic. I'm so glad that you managed to marry such a wonderful person. I know that you don't mean any of what you just said. I'm begging you, please. Get back together with him. I really don't know how else to get out of this situation. I promise that I'll never take your boyfriend or fiance from you ever again. Hey, it's way too late to make a promise like that. Nothing's going to change now. You guys are just like each other. So try to get along as best you can. Enjoy your new married life together. Wait, don't just abandon me. You can't leave yet. We haven't solved anything yet. Please. I'm begging you this time. I'll literally do anything for you. I'm telling you that I'll give him back to you. Please accept my generous offer. I'll go and apologize to Natalie about what I did to her and her guy. I'll come to your place and apologize to you directly too. So please, help me out. I can't live like this any longer. Please get me out of here right now. A little while later, 
I heard that Amy had become pregnant with Wade's child. After finding out about the pregnancy, she finally gave up on trying to get divorced. Currently, they are still living together and not getting along very well. Even after finding out that he was going to become a dad, Wade didn't decide to change his lifestyle at all. He still goes out to sleep with the other women that he has relationships with and spends all his salary on them. It seems like he has no intention to change the way he lives even after their child is born. Natalie seems to be living a pretty good married life with her husband being a doctor. Every time Amy sees posts about Natalie on social media, she becomes hysterical, realizing the kind of life that she missed out on. I hope that Natalie continues to post more of her happy life on social media.